Check it out. In this video, I share not only the best teleprompter for your iPhone or iPad, as well as a strategy allowing you to leverage that teleprompter to drive more views. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. And if you want to drive more views and gain subscribers, well, stake your claim and amplify your message by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Here's what's up. After publishing thousands of videos and after driving more than 2 million video views and gaining well over 35,000 subscribers, I've discovered the very best teleprompter app that's not even really a teleprompter app. Even better, it's free and it'll help you make far better videos. Let's jump into it. The very fact that you're looking for the best teleprompter tells me that you're interested in publishing great videos, professional videos that'll allow you to drive more views, gain those subscribers, maybe build your brand, and not just share a message, but amplify it. And to do that, first, we have to set some goals, and we've got to identify some problems. The number one problem with most teleprompters is that those individuals using a teleprompter, it's easy to tell they're reading. And that's a shame because when a viewer sees that the video creator is reading, it takes away that connection, the connection between the viewer and the video creator. And thus, what you don't want to do is read from a teleprompter. And what I've discovered is you don't have to. Now, here's what's up. The Notes app, which is available for your iPhone or iPad, it's completely free. And it's powerful because it gives you the chance to script out the video. We'll talk more about that as we move forward. It gives you a chance to incorporate images or pictures you may want to use with the videos you create, which is smart because it'll add interest to your videos. And you can even use the Apple Pencil to doodle on the note you create for the video you're gonna publish, and then you can do this. You can grab your iPad, you can pull up the script you've worked on, and then you can deliver your script in chunks. It's very easy. You simply look at the iPad or iPhone, you identify the few lines you're gonna say, and then you focus on delivering those lines like you're an actor, and that's why we have bloopers. This frees you up to focus on the lens, to focus on that connection, to freeform. And furthermore, because you're not reading off a script, there's no loss of eye contact. There's not that like weird, hey, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to share with you. You don't want that. And it gets even better because the Notes app, it syncs across multiple devices, MacBook, iMac, uh, maybe the iPad or the iPhone. And furthermore, even if you're offline, you can still pull up your notes and they'll, they'll sync when you connect to the internet later. So very powerful to always have a bunch of notes or scripts ready for you to create your videos on. And furthermore, again, you've always got them with you. That's powerful. So here's that methodology that I suggest you think about leveraging. Number one, just work on the script, write it out, and once you're done, then think about images or pictures that you want to incorporate into the finished video, that's B-roll, and then you can make notes in your script for that very thing. Furthermore, later, if you begin to work with an editing team, well, you can send them your detailed notes, that's your video script, and it's got all the images, where they should be placed, it's got the B-roll, sound effects, it's a note on your script. Speaking of scripts, in the coming days, I'm releasing a super powerful video on how to create a powerful script. If it's available now, it'll be in the YouTube card right now. Watch that video and drive more views. Oh, and do this. If you want to drive those views and gain subscribers, make sure to subscribe. Click on the yellow B to the G icon below. You'll subscribe. I'll continue to share the strategies and tactics that I've used to grow my channel and you'll feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?